everyone, it's Tara Lynn. Welcome to the channel. Today I'm unboxing the Star Colds Astro Oracle deck. So if you've been thinking about getting this deck or you want to see the artwork or if you've been interested in an astrology oracle deck, definitely stay tuned. I'll be sharing my first impressions of the cards. I'll also be flipping through the artwork so you can see if it's a style that you vibe with. And I'll also be giving you my review of the guidebook and how I like to use the cards. So first up we have the box. I think it's really pretty. I love the artwork and the vibrancy of the letters on it. I think it's a very sturdy box. If you store your cards in the box, I think it will hold up for a long time. It's your standard box where you just open the lid and then you have the guidebook and the cards inside. So when you open up the guidebook, you have the table of contents. So you have the lenses, which has the signs, quality, solar activity. Then you have the celestial characters, which is luminaries, planets, asteroids, lunar nodes, then you have the locations, and that has the cardinal points, houses, then you have patterns, which has supportive aspects, challenging aspects, and changing states. And then you have the introduction and how to use the cards, and then there's a little bit about reading methods, so you can find one that works for you. And then you have the spreads, so you have the astrological sentence, and then you have the dial, and then you have orientation to astrology which this is self-explanatory. It's just giving you the basic information about astrology. And then it takes you to the cards. So for the guidebook, it lets you know what category you're in. It also then lets you know the subcategory and then the specific card. Every card also has a number associated to it. And then it has a keyword linked with the message of this card. And then it tells you a little bit about the energy. And then it tells you about the action, challenge, and gift of this card. So my first impressions of the guidebook, I think it's super informative. I really appreciate that they are explaining a little bit about astrology because I feel like this is a really good way to bridge the gap. If someone is more of a divination witch and they don't know much about astrology, they can use this oracle deck as a way to step their toes into the water to start to understand astrology. Obviously, this guidebook is not going to have all the information about astrology, but it's a great way to start. And so I like the fact that this guidebook isn't just expecting you to know astrology before getting this. I also feel like the information about the cards themselves for people who could be new to reading oracle cards in general is very good, very informative. I like the spreads that they gave as options to read with. I think that if you're someone where you're wanting to practice different spreads, those ones would be good to test out. And then as far as the cards themselves, I like how the categories are very well thought out and they make a lot of sense for the grouping of these cards. And I also like the fact that the description, again, is very informative. I feel like there's a lot of knowledge put into each of these cards it feels very intentional and like a lot of thought and effort and detail went into making this guidebook very easy to understand but very informative as well I like how each of the cards has a little bit about it and then it has the action challenging gift because I feel like this gives you different perspectives on the card instead of just looking at the overall meaning so here we have the back of the cards, and I think this is stunning. It really is telling you that this is an astrology deck, and I also love the colors that they chose for it and just how the imagery works together. These cards are a little bit larger. That's typical with oracle cards. I'm comparing them to a typical tarot deck size so that you can see it's a little bit wider and taller. This is very similar to the Quantum Oracle size of cards. So if you're familiar with that and you are able to shuffle that easily, you won't have any issues with these cards. If you're someone where you're not used to shuffling cards that big, it might take a little bit of a learning curve before you get comfortable shuffling these cards. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start off the flip through. So these cards are the signs, and so they have the zodiac symbol on the top. They have the image that they're associated with. They have the number on the top left corner, and then it has each zodiac with the keyword underneath it down at the bottom. It also looks like it has its element on the side and it looks like it has its planet also referenced in the card itself. So there's a lot of detail on the card itself which I really appreciate.
the artwork is so stunning and not even just the artwork but the amount of symbols on the card representing the card itself there's so much detail and thought put into each of these cards where if you understand the energy of whether it's the planets the houses the zodiac signs or whatever card you get if you understand astrology, you probably don't even need to use the guidebook. I think the guidebook, while it's informative, is made more so for people who are new to astrology, who need a better understanding of it, or if there's something that you forgot the meaning of. I think the guidebook, for those of you who already know astrology, is going to be great if you need to bridge the gap into understanding oracle cards a little bit but i think if you understand astrology you could pick up these cards and probably use them intuitively i think there's a lot of great information and detail on the cards alone i think you really understand the energy of the key word that's linked with the card itself as well my two favorite cards out of this deck is the Jupiter card and the 8th house card. I think the artwork on these is stunning. I love the vibrancy but also the detail. And so overall I would say if you want this deck, I would highly recommend it. I think the card shuffled really well. I did both the riffle shuffle and the overhand shuffle and had no issues with either. These cards have enough slip where it makes it very easy for you to shuffle them. But if you were someone where let's say you leave your cards out and you hit the table or you hit them they're not going to slide that much. So there's not too much slip where it makes it hard to store or put down for a minute. Obviously, if you knock into the cards, they will fall, but they're not going to move at the slightest touch. And so I would say this deck is great for anyone who wants this deck. I think if you are drawn to the artwork and you just want the deck for that reason, I would recommend it because I think there's enough information in the guidebook. You would understand the messages. I think if you're someone where you're into astrology and want an oracle deck, you'll be very happy with this one. I think it's very well detailed. Again, I think it's very well thought out that you're going to be very happy with the description of each of these cards. I think the guidebook does a really good job of staying true to the meaning of each of these astrology symbols. And if you're someone where you don't know much about astrology and you are someone where you're very familiar with oracle cards and you want to get an oracle deck to represent astrology in your readings, I would really recommend this deck. And if you're someone where you just like oracle decks and you want to get an astrology oracle deck, this is definitely meant for you. I feel like it bridges the gap so well. This is the most informed astrology deck that I've seen. And so I'm really glad to have it a part of my collection. I was debating on what astrology deck to get for a long time, and I'm really happy I went with this one because not only does it have these zodiacs, but it has the rest of the astrology symbols. You have the planets, you have the houses, um, you have the conjunctions and things like that that I think is overlooked in a lot of other oracle decks that are astrology themed. And so again, I cannot recommend this deck enough. I'm super happy to have it a part of my collection. I also read with it for myself, and that reading was very accurate and I felt it was very easy to follow. So if you're using the guidebook, I think it explains it in a way that's very easy for you to understand. And also just looking at the images alone, there's a lot of symbolism in them. What I did to practice with these cards is I got my intuitive message from the details that I was picking up on. And then I went in and I read the guidebook so I could let you all know how the guidebook reads. And both way gave the same reading for me. There was a little bit more information in the guidebook that I didn't know, but it added to the message that I already had sent. So if you were someone where you were already good at reading oracle cards and being very in tune with your intuition and understanding the messages, this is going to be very accurate for you and the guidebook is just going to add to that. And so I really appreciate the way that this deck has been very well thought out. I really love the execution of it and I feel like it's just a really great deck. And so if you want it for any reason, I would really recommend that you go out and you get it because I think it's going to be well worth it. So let me know if you're going to get this deck or if you already have it, how do you like it? If you like this video and you found it helpful, definitely give this video a big thumbs up and share with others who are thinking about getting this deck. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. I would love to have you a part of this family. I post more unboxing videos like this, but I also post readings. I do pick a pile readings, collective readings, and zodiac readings, along with other educational videos to help you all learn tarot a little bit better. And so if any of that is something that you're interested in watching, I'm going to have other videos of mine linked in the cards above that you can watch next. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I hope you have a good one. Bye.